Let there be light. Woo. Look up. Oh, boy. She has why she keeps being annoying. Beef and tripe. Yum. Then after feeding the cat, I realize she's thirsty. I wish cats would talk so I could tell if she's aggressively meowing because she's hungry or aggressively meowing because she's thirsty. Nope, I have to get up. Oh, look at her. The water. <laughs> Watch your head, please. See how my mom abuses me? <laughs> oh, you're saying that because I'm filming. <laughs> hey, y'all. Welcome to a new episode of Loggered in Life vlog. Um... I'm kind of out of it slash annoyed right now because I woke up an hour later than I planned to. I actually woke up when my alarm went off, but I just felt way too tired to actually get up. So now I'm up an hour later than I planned to, which annoys me because that means I'm an hour behind everything I wanted to do, but whatever. Not that big of a deal though for the vlog because, you know, the um, breweries don't open until like, 12 o'clock, at least the breweries we have planned to see today. <laughs> so, yeah, so for today we're gonna go to two silos. It'll be interesting, because the beers can always be so hit or miss to me, personally. And we're gonna go to um, Tucked Away, which I did do before, but I never made a video, because after my first two videos on this channel, I'm like, uh, I'm not really feeling them, you know? I'm still new to this vlogging stuff, so I'm not really feeling them, so. I'm gonna look at other vloggers, not only beer related, because I don't have any other beer related vloggers, but just other vloggers in general, see what I need to figure out what to do, etc, etc. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, until then, it's like 8.30 or so now. I honestly don't know. I can't see the time. Also, I will say this, if you guys haven't noticed, I do have a new phone. I'm filming on so anyways i'm filming now on a google pixel 5a with 5g Ooh. so it comes with like two rear cameras i'm not really sure what they do <laughs> and then the the very awkwardly placed front facing camera which is at like the corner of the screen right here that drives me nuts because at least with my old phone you know the the um whatchamacallit camera was at least centered above the screen. So if I film facing the other way, it's easier to at least look directly in the camera. It feels weird to look at the camera when it's like at the point of the screen or whatever. Anyways, let's get, gosh, that sounds weird. I want to say let's get drinking, but that sounds really weird. I'm not going to say that. See y'all. Oof. Okay. Finally leaving out. My brother is accompanying me. I don't think he wants to be seen, so I'm gonna block out his face. But look at that shirt of his. What is on that shirt? Skates? You don't even skate, man. Um. Yeah, finally leaving out at 11 o'clock. Two silos first, which we'll we'll see how their beer is. They have a bad tendency to be um, 
inconsistent. So we will see. So we're finally here at two silos, but before I begin, look who hitched a ride with us. I think it's one of those little jumping spiders. He looks like he's freaking out, like he can't figure out how to get down, but I don't know how he got on the truck in the first place. But it doesn't matter. Here is, oh, let me zoom out a bit. There we go. Here's two silos. Well, the campus is actually called Farm Brew Live. And the brewery on the campus is called Two Silos. So, yeah. And let me just say too, it's only 11 o'clock and it's already starting to get crowded here. So if you wanna get here and beat the crowds, come right when it opens. And here's some more of the campus. Here's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. So we got the Citralicious, the Low Key, the Cream Ale, Pumpkin Ale, the Goat, and the Celebration. Okay. okay. And can I order food here? Yeah, of course. Okay. You want a start tab or just pay as you go? Uh, I'll start a tab. Okay. I'll just set the card to get it. So, as you all can see here, we got our beers. One missing. There we go. Um, and some more video of what the actual campus looks like. It's been a while since I've sat outside here. That's their stage. Black Sheep, which is like a small place restaurant, and then the pit, which has very average barbecue in my opinion. But um guess we'll see uh if they're actually consistent today. So I forgot the most important part, actually filming myself drinking these. I look really dark right now, probably because of the sun, but here's the citrulicious. Tastes like your typical IPA, but it's very citrusy, like an orange juice. Actually, yeah, that tastes like, like a mixture of orange juice and like lemon juice. A little hint of lemon. Which fits the word citralicious. So it turns out they have live music playing now this early in the morning, which is unusual for them. But uh, hopefully, guys, you can still hear me. This is the low key trickster. That is an interesting flavored beer. It tastes like an IPA, but here, you can try it. It's, I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, like, it's, it's weird. It tastes like an IPA, but it's like, I don't know what I'm actually tasting. It's weird. Hmm. Next up, Virginia Cream Ale. Which is the one I usually get a lot of because they tend to be pretty, uh, pretty consistent with the cream ale. That's good. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Nice, simple beer, but easy to drink. So I've only had like two pumpkin ales before, so I think this one will be... I said two pumpkin ales, I think I've only had one pumpkin ale now I think about it. So we'll see how this is. tastes like pumpkin. Like it actually tastes like pumpkin, not pumpkin spices, which a lot of people do. It seems that's really rare. Like a lot of pumpkin flavored stuff just tastes like pumpkin spices. The good thing about Two Silos, while their beers can be kind of inconsistent, their food is always, at least the food from inside the main restaurant is always pretty good. Black Sheep I hear is pretty good. 
the pit barbecue I've given it three chances and it kind of sucks in my opinion and then they have a bunch of food trucks that are always really good too so there's that okay time for more beer next we have the mosaic goat IPA this will be this one Something about this one, I can't put my finger on it. It tastes like a typical IPA. Well, typical New England IPA, but it's curiously smooth, like really smooth. Like I wonder if they put lactose in it or something. Okay, time for the last beer, which is Silobration. Uh, Marzen. I've had a Marzen like twice or so. So here's that. Not a bad beer. Tastes like fall. <laughs> I'm serious, like... It has like... Fall spices flavors. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like, I don't know. Think about the foods you eat during, like, fall. Like, pumpkin pie and Thanksgiving turkeys and stuff. That's what it, I don't know. Like, clove. Not, not like a strong clove flavor, but just like fall spices, basically. <laughs> so, real quick while it's quiet. Um, as you see here, we sampled all six beers. So, my main first comment will be, Two Silas has definitely done better with their, uh, their consistency. They don't really have a bad beer. I remember when they first started, they had, I'll just say bad beers. <laughs> but their beers are actually really good now. My brother's favorite is this one, the Pumpkin Ale. My favorite is the Citralicious can't go wrong with a good New England IPA. I mean, I've had better New England IPAs, but for a good basic IPA, it's good. So here we decided to get a pint of the beers we like the most. I went with the Citralicious. He went with the Pumpkin Ale. You want to go on camera, Philip? You don't? I can just show off your shirt and your buff arms that people will wonder, who is this dude with the roller skate shirts and the buff arms? <laughs> so weird. So we're all done with eating and drinking. <laughs> that sounds so weird to say like that. So we're just gonna walk around and see what's around first before we actually leave for Tucked Away. from here. I'm sure you can get drinks inside Black Sheep too. One of these days I'll actually try it, but I hear it's really good. Oh yeah, there's the sushi I was talking about. It's inside the same building too. And they got cornhole set up. There's the pit menu. gonna walk around campus for a bit to sober up and also show off things i'm trying to get better at this this vlogging stuff and there's a nice little playground too so it's a you know even if you don't have people who drink it's an event for the entire family Oh yeah, you can get drinks from this truck too. Of course, it's kind of limited because of how small it is. But yeah, I forgot you can get drinks from the truck too. And they have like two event centers actually here. 
So there's this one, which I guess is under construction. It was not like that last time I was here. Oh yeah, and they have the fire pits too, which are really fun during the winter time. Phil, are you sure you guys haven't been here with us? I could have sworn because we have marshmallows and everything too. I can't imagine who else we were with when we were here then. Hmm. And so yeah, that's pretty much it. Their second event center is back down the road. It's that giant barn. Well, we didn't pass the barn because we came the other way. But if we went the main road that just goes straight through rather than having to take all those turns, we would have passed the barn, which is their second event center for people who want to get married inside of a barn, basically. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little campus, two silos on inside Farm Brew Live. So the campus is Farm Brew Live. And the brewery is two silos, basically. It's, oh, and there's a barbecue, another barbecue place. I just noticed that. Yeah. They, they make sure you're well fed out here, that's for sure. <laughs> and not all their food trucks are even out here yet. So that's pretty crazy to think there's still more food to come. So we are currently back home, guys. Uh, I most likely will have this started as a second video because, I don't know, I think it's better to split up the um, brewery videos. What's up, kitty cat? Aww, so cute. Say hi to the camera. Oh, you're so adorable. Okay. So anyways, um, the reason why, too, we're home and not at the next brewery right now is because... So, two silos opened at 11, so that's when I went. And Farm Brew Live. Okay, she's looking at me because she thinks I'm talking to her. That's adorable. Farm Brew Live. Uh, Farm Brew Live. That's two silos, my bad. Tucked away. The second place we're going doesn't open until 1. We left Farm Brew Live at 12. 15. 12, 15. And we have 15 more minutes until Tucked Away opens. So, since home is close by, I can chill for a bit until... We're ready for our next room. Ain't that right, Courtney? Courtney! Oh, you're so cute. 